Speaking of testing, though, Major League Baseball says that 27 teams will participate in an antibody testing study. This is not that same sort of diagnostic test that's used in healthcare settings to identify the presence of the virus and whether somebody's actively contagious. This instead measures whether people have been exposed and then developed antibodies as a result, even if they never suffered any symptoms. One report says the 10,000 baseball employees have volunteered to participate. But guys, this will be pretty interesting just from that same perspective as when Major League Basketball went through, or when uh, the NBA, when basketball went through uh, this same sort of issue and was testing so many of its players, you did find that it was a much higher number than had been anticipated that had already been exposed and potentially had this disease. So maybe this gives us a little bit of a better idea about what might be happening in the general population, too. Um, at, at the this time when the, the studies this... were done on basketball, yeah, th well, this is the future, though. This is, this is different than... Yeah. Yeah, this is, the f this is what we're going to be doing. This is, this is the way we're going to get yeah. back uh, and, and, and reopen things. By, there's, these we're going to have Waxel, uh, Dr. Sam Waxel, on later. And the antibody testing is going... If, you know, people that obviously in Major League Baseball, if you test every single person, you can, fe you can field some of those players with confidence uh, at that point. But it's not going to just mm -hmm. be them. It's going to be eventually you'd like to be able to have an antibody test on everyone, essentially, going back to any job. Yeah, so this is it just, right. like you point out, it's different than just testing to see if you have it so that you don't go out. This is to see whether you've had it so that you don't even need to worry about it. So it's safe to go back out. And, and, well, and but, what right, was so but, interesting at the time when they were when they were testing basketball is that they, they said that the basketball players would probably have a, a similar representation to, let's say, a retail worker or a restaurant worker because or a transportation worker, because those types of employees have about as many daily interactions as a basketball player would. So you, you, originally yeah. I was thinking, OK, basketball might have a much higher contamination rate just because they're traveling around and doing so many things. But there were uh, there was analysis at the time that said it might match up pretty similarly with maybe like the FedEx delivery guy or somebody else who was going around and having a lot of daily interactions.